The city is now pausing the so-called amusement license fee and will work with the Common Council on a new plan. As far as we can tell, the law that defines what is an amusement and would require a license fee... ...is from 1927 from the Kennefick Commission, so those, just that terminology shows you the archaicness um, of events that happened over the last hundred years. And there are some real doozies that are considered amusements in the city code. All baseball or football games, all exhibitions of moving pictures known as mutoscope, kinetoscope, cinematograph, all sideshows, concerts, or minstrel or musical entertainments, all poultry shows, horse shows, stock shows, flower shows, dog shows, shows and even cat shows. Apparently the Queen City was absolutely wild in 1927. This amusement fee is a no-go for a lot of council members. And now the city is backing off from collecting. In a letter to venue owners obtained by Two on Your Side, the City Department of Permits and Inspection Services said, quote, Dear business owner, the collection of an amusement license fee is being temporarily paused. We have reviewed the ordinance and are looking to make adjustments. In the coming weeks, the city will work with the Common Council to resolve any issues. Many saw the enforcement of amusement license fees as a way the city to quickly fill budget gaps. I've been shouting from the rooftops uh, since I first got elected that these uh, gaps were going to persist and were going to exist. The way that you fix structural financial problems is really not these one shot off revenues and increasing fees, fines or even taxes won't fix the, the looming 50, 60 million dollar structural deficit we have in the city. Council President and South Buffalo Council Member Chris Scanlon along with Delaware District Councilman Joel Ferletto also support the pause by the city. Both have numerous venues in their districts as well. Some council members when we return from recess want to ultimately address it um, because they were ultimately feeling blindsided by it um, even if it was in the books. Now state lawmakers Sean Ryan and John Rivera say they are looking at legislation to address these type of fees. They will announce those details tomorrow. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.